Both the HTC U12 Plus and the Huawei P20 Pro are phones that stand out in public. But not just in terms of appearance, they also have some great camera systems. This is HTC's first dual camera phone of the modern era, whereas the Huawei P20 Pro is rocking the world's first triple camera setup with AI technology. But how do both of these stack up? We'll begin with a simple image. In the first one, the phones are hard to tell apart, but in very slight variants, the U12 Plus has more accurate colors and better background light control, seen from the building construction. Next is a pretty standard image of a building, where the U12 Plus once again has the better colors and the overall picture. It's not very overexposed like what you find on the P20 Pro. Turning off AI makes the P20 Pro far better, but even so, the detailing on the building balconies seems to be better on the U12+. Plus. Now, here's a macro shot of a flower where the P20 Pro has the shallower depth of field. In terms of colors, I feel like this one comes down to personal preference more than anything. For this next one, I'm using the 40 megapixel shot on the P20 Pro against the HTC U12 Plus's standard image, but the HTC U12 Plus seems to be doing a better job here over the P20 Pro, both in terms of detail on the boat and in the background on those buildings. Next, we've got another image directly to compare the P20 Pro's AI versus the HTC U12 Plus. In this case, the AI doesn't make the picture look very unnatural and makes for a better picture over the HTC U12 Plus. Comparing this next picture side by side, both phones perform well under this lighting. I turned on AI here to see how much of a difference it would make, but more so to test the zoom capabilities on both of these phones. At 2x zoom, I prefer the HTC U12 Plus because of the detail retention in the background tree bark, but at 10x zoom, the P20 Pro has the very slight edge. This is more than likely because of the AI features the P20 Pro brings, and with that considered, the HTC U12 Plus by itself does a very good job. Moving to portraits, the edge detection on the U12 Plus seems to be slightly better than the P20 Pro. Even the colors on the U12 Plus are more natural, and so is the sharpness of the overall picture, but the P20 Pro has the slightly wider field of view in portraits. To counter this, the U12 Plus does come with a manual bokeh mode, which allows you to control the level of blur in the background, which the P20 Pro doesn't have. Indoors, the feature does very well again with both phones and this time with a much more complex object. I prefer the wider field of view of the P20 Pro here, but aside that, there's very little to tell both of these great pictures apart. Continuing on the indoor shots, the P20 Pro seems to have a slightly overexposed image here over the U12 Plus. The image comes off as more vibrant, which some may prefer, but of course the P20 Pro also retains more detail in shadows, especially under that staircase. In this one, I feel like the white balance on the U12 Plus is slightly more accurate and so the colors are more accurate overall, and the detail towards the background on the U12 Plus is just a bit more compared to the P20 Pro when looking at the price of the products in the shop, as you can see. In low light outdoor conditions though, the P20 Pro with its AI thrives to an extent, but takes away from the real natural colors. Turning this off, the P20 Pro still seems to take over processed pictures compared to the U12 Plus's more natural and sharper images. But here in the case of the sunset, I prefer the P20 Pro's image because of the better color reproduction and detail in the foreground, and the AI functionality here is turned off. In a more darker environment, the HTC U12 Plus's picture has more noise than the P20 Pro's, but the P20 Pro seems to have desaturated the colors from the image, while the U12 U12 Plus maintains the colors well. In this case, the U12 Plus shines once again over the P20 Pro's image with considerable more detail, but at 2x zoom, you see more noise in the U12 Plus's picture over the P20 Pro. This trend continues in pitch black scenarios where the U12 Plus captures very high levels of noise over the P20 Pro's regular mode. The same picture with night mode improves the sharpness and exposure of the overall picture even further on the P20 Pro. Moving to selfies, outdoors the P20 Pro selfie is slightly softer than the HTC U12 Plus and I prefer that look. With portrait mode turned on, the U12 Plus becomes a lot more softer, but I still prefer the look of the P20 Pro. Indoors the colors are definitely way more accurate on the U12 Plus as we've seen throughout this camera comparison, but with the softening of the selfie after turning on the bokeh effect, I prefer how the P20 Pro selfie looks over the U12 Pluses 
which seems a bit washed out in my opinion. Lastly at night, I definitely prefer the U12 Plus for its natural colors and low noise compared to the P20 Pro. But unfortunately, the U12 Plus couldn't get the bokeh feature to work at this lighting, delivering a very similar image with more noise compared to the P20 Pro's image and processing that managed to get the bokeh effect just right. With that, I want to finish off with video capture. Both phones are recording this footage at their highest available settings, which are on screen, and I definitely prefer how the HD HTC U12 Plus performed here. It did a much better job of stabilizing video footage, which I noticed as soon as I saw both of these videos, but also in terms of the detail it captured, especially in the shadows. And overall, I just like how the U12 Plus performed in video capturing. But that's it from me. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. Check out our previous videos if you haven't already and subscribe for more videos coming very soon. Let me know which phone you think did a better job. and as as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.